been um, I've been ch chatting here with Noah. So the per reason we got this <laughs> going is because Noah got on our Facebook channel and said, "How the heck do I get all this stuff set up?" And so I'm going to do a quick demo of how to set this up. And then we're going to show you how we set it up on iHome Finder, and then we're going to open it up to questions. So that's that's kind of the format we have imagined here. Um, we have some of our team members here. They're here to back me up they, in case I screw up or don't answer the questions right. If I get overridden by somebody, believe the other folks. So let's see what we have. I'm going to share my screen. Um, And let's see where we're going to start this thing. Basically, this is your, um, I just created this iHome Finder, I'm sorry, this high level account. It's called Webinar. I came up with that on my own. And uh, what we need to do is we just need to come down here and grab this API key. I'm going to go into our software, which is called idxaddons.com, and we'll send the link to this to everybody. This will be in our software, forward slash GHL dashboard. Well, maybe I need to back out of here. Let me back out real quick. Let me show you how I log in here. Um, this is what it looks like. If I go to IDX add-ons login, you have to have an IDX broker account. We give access to this platform to all our clients for free. And we get essentially an affiliate payment or we get credit from IDX Broker for providing all the software and support and uh, and all that stuff to folks. And iHome Finder as well? Yeah, and we have a relationship just like that with, with iHome Finder. Okay. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I, if you have an IDX Broker account, they give you an API key. We use that as your account login. And... Um, if you don't have an account already, use the sign up for free. We we give this for free to all our clients, or if you don't want to be our client, we charge you $399 a year for the exact same access. So we think everybody should get the free one. Um, you log in with your API key. I'm using IDX Broker's own demo account. That's just like a publicly available account. Um, and so once I get in here to IDX add-ons, you know, we have a whole bunch of apps we have all kinds of good stuff but i'm going to go up here and change this to get us to our ghl dashboard so i need a couple of pieces of information here let's get back over here uh, copy my api key and i need to put in my white label domain well what is that well our our version of high level it runs at app.leadercrm.com you can see here's an example right here of what, what that looks like. So I'm going to put in leadercrm.com, hit the next step. So while this is running, I'm going to give you a little color commentary here. Basically, um, we go back and we start pulling some of this traffic history from IDX Broker. And we're going to set up some connections between IDX, your IDX account and your high-level account. We do this all... Uh, via the API, and uh, like it says here, this step will take, you know, 30 seconds or so, and then it'll start clicking through the progress chart. So, okay, we've got, you know, we've verified this. Now we're setting up all this stuff inside of your IDX pages. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to go grab this, uh, and I can set this this link up. It says here, add it as a custom menu link. Okay or this will be visible at the bottom of this page. So if I scroll down here, so this is down here somewhere. Here it is. And um, I can also use this now inside of high level, just so you guys know, in, uh, in the dashboard. You can add it as a widget in here in the dashboard. So if, we're not going to go into that in today's uh, webinar. So I'm going to hit that that's complete. And that's pretty much it. So now let's go back over here. And uh, looks like I need to get on my agency view. I've already added this, uh, this link. So let me go over here. This is where I would normally add it if I haven't already added it. But in my case, 
we've already added, I just need to add this account in here. So let's add the webinar account. And I'm going to add uh, a couple of these in here just because we have two or three different versions just to make sure I get everything I need in here. Webinar. There we go. Okay. So that should get us back over here. Let's go back to the webinar. Down here, you can see I've got, you know, the agent. Oh. For some reason that one didn't hit right, but I'll, we'll go and see what happened there. This is uh, it shows you know now I can see people that had signed up before. I can here on this dashboard I can start tracking people and 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 see their activity on this account. So if this client looked at this property, uh, you know I can actually open this in a new window and see what that what that property looks like, if I have any questions about it. Um, it's also added in here on our contacts. Uh, I don't have any contacts in here because I just brought uh, this account over. So that's normally if I had some of those people already as contacts, uh, I could see some of their information. Let me look here, and I'm going to look at our uh, lead connector. We have a few. I'm going to put lead connector so I can see. We've got wrappers. We hook up the web hooks, and I'm just going to make sure that this IDX. Uh, Thing is hooked up. So here's all the leads. So I'm going to send all these leads over to high level here first. So it looks like it just sent them all over. So I've just brought over all my leads. All the custom values and fields I want to check. Looks like those are all set up in high level. Um, my web hook. Make sure that I hook this up on my IDX pages. Maybe on some of these custom pages it's not set up, but it's looks like it's finding it on a bunch of these are, may have some other content on them. Those might have to be manually set, but everything looks like it's set up. There's my domain. Um, so everything looks like it's in good order. Let's reload the contacts page and see if we show anybody here. Let me go over here to opportunities. James, you need to select the, the leads that you want to send. Okay. Okay, so I'll send all these guys over. And maybe I'll show 25 just to make it more interesting. Oh, well, I'll send those 10. Okay, let's see. Oh, I apologize. I probably hit the wrong thing here. Let me let me go back over here. I apologize. Okay, so let's let me grab these guys. I'll just grab these that have names, these three. I'll just send them over here. Okay. So they've is this, been... is this something you're just catching up from those contacts that are inside the uh, customer uh, dashboard inside IDX Broker? Yeah, so these, and I can see now that there's a bunch of them had already been loaded, it looks like. So probably okay. there's a little user uh, failure there. So, um, you know, I, I'm probably not very good at this. Um, so we can see these clients here, Terrell and Ben. Let's, if I go here to Ben, so when this is set up, they, they don't have to manually be moved over to GHL? Correct. So they're they're moved over. And then we, um, down here in this additional information, you can see we've loaded in a whole bunch of custom fields. And so you can use these 
to start creating automations inside of high high level. Yep. So when when these clients start having traffic, and sometimes it's a little wonky at the very beginning because if we're showing a client um, that has uh, I lost my train of thought there. If if we have a client, you know, maybe you're moving people over and your old users, and sometimes it gets a little funny there at the at the very beginning. But once you get them set up, it should be pretty uh, seamless. Looks like there's a comment um, from Chuck about maybe looks like the first ten went over, and then maybe some other people didn't. Uh, so yeah, maybe we can see troubleshoot that and see what's going on uh, a little bit later but that's essentially in a nutshell that's how you set it up so each client that you have you're just going to log in to idx broker with their account and we're and we're putting together a a, a list right here uh let's see if i can go back here on it's idxaddons.com forward slash agency mm -hmm. You come down here, right now we have these two cards that have some steps to set this up. Here's how you set up your agency. You add a new user, and we're going to be modifying these in the next couple of days so that these are a little bit more complete and a little bit easier for folks to use. So that's one of them, and the other one is uh, how to set up your subdomain. Here's how to get to the dashboard. So if I were going to add another client, I would just come back over here. If I logged in as a new user, this would give me the prompt me again for their um, API key to GHL. And then we just set it up and run them again. So um, let me show you real quick. We're also working on uh, a version of this for um, iHome Finder. And I was wondering, Carlos, would you have a few minutes? Maybe you could show us what we're working on for iHome Finder. Yes, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Carlos. I'm the lead developer on the iPhone Finder part. And let me let me show you uh, what we have been working on for iPhone Finder. In in this presentation, I'm going to show you how to connect high level and iPhone Finder. So we have here an an high level sub account. Um, we have already a website. This is a, a website we made for for a Mexico, and let me show you how to connect. The first thing you you will need is an IDX Apps account. You can go to idxapps.com and sign up for an a free account. Then you can you you will have access to all or or apps. The important one for this uh, integration is the iPhone Finder and Lead Connector. This will uh, send iPhone Finder leads to the connector. So you, you click on Create App. The first thing you need to do is connect high level. It's super easy. You, you just click on Continue with high level, and you need to select your sub account. In this case, the sub account name is this one. The next step is to create custom fields. This will be used later for a workflows and, and it will create custom fields for your contacts. Create them. And then it will let you save. And you you will get a embed code and here are the, the instructions to install it. You need to go to your control panel in in iPhone Finder. Let me log in here. And here it says that I need to paste this code in setup, website, and CSS. So I go here, and I, I already did that. I paste it and save changes. OK. So once I did that, I can go back to settings, and I will see a dashboard here. This is the dashboard where you will see uh, the activity on your website. So let me go to the website and click on a uh, search but i will set uh, some prices and some bets okay so i just did a search and in my dashboard i should see that activity 
that's it. If you want to get this dashboard, if you want to have this dashboard in your high level account, you can have the dashboard link. Here. This dashboard link, you can use it as a, as a custom menu item. So let me show you. Here I'm creating a custom menu link uh, with the iPhone finder dashboard as name. The URL is the one that I just copied. I just copied here. And let's click on save. So if I search my iPhone finder dashboard, I will add it to. Okay, let me let me check if when I go to my sub account, I can have the iPhone finder dashboard. Mm. Seems that it is not working the the link. It, it may be because it's it lit your it linked you out to a high level in that the URL said app dot high level. Let's see if on your on your uh, leader CRM, which is our white label, let's see if it shows you, Carlos. Okay. okay. So I'm here, I can find this dashboard and I can see it. That's it. So here I will see the listing view, the recent searches, saved properties, saved searches, the new leads, and also the anonymous visitors that we don't have a, a name, but we know that they are look, what they are looking and we can make decisions based on that. So this is the, the connection we have between high level and iPhone finder, all the leads that that sign up here, that ask for information or that save a property, they are sent to high level as a contact. We are working on more apps and workflows to make this integration more powerful. And this is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you, Carlos. One quick caveat about what Carlos shared with us is you don't, you don't have to speak Spanish to use iHome Finder. They they have English and Spanish. We just got done doing a big project with them down in Mexico, and so that's why we're showing some Spanish stuff. Speaking of Spanish, uh, Jeff, you live in Tucson, don't you? Yes, I do, and I used to rent a home in Bogota. Okay, there you go. Hey, Jeff, you're... Noah originally started this whole process by asking some questions, and you mentioned that maybe you would feel comfortable showing some of the stuff that you've got going. Would you, would you feel comfortable yeah. showing something to us? Yeah, so hold on. I'm right in the middle of I have a, I have a listing presentation at two. So uh, let me just get my screen. Um, just make sure everything is in there and working, and I'll share my screen. Cool. What exactly, what exactly do you want to see? Um, this is my lead connector. Um, and I haven't had that much activity on my website, but um, I have actual real clients on there searching on my site. Uh, and we can see when they viewed their listing. So if you click on- I have a question. I mean, has it been of any value to you? out or not really or is it is it just 100%, kind of shiny toy? Uh, yes and the reason um, why it's been a help is because rather than set up MLS searches for my clients um, I try to set them up on website searches and I don't think I would be able to do that without uh, using Realty Candy I know it's set up through IDX broker but it looks good uh, through Realty Candy so uh, through the tools that you provide. So here's kind of the stuff. And I like, um, as a also an agency owner, I like having the dashboard um, inside of my high level. So I, uh, I like seeing who's looking at my, my sites. So hope that makes sense. Yeah. So real quickly, I think, um, Noah, did you have any questions that you specifically wanted to ask Jeff, because he's going to blaze out of here and go list a house for sale in a minute. I don't think so, Jeff. You, we we connected real quick. The only thing that uh, I own a marketing agency. We work with realtors doing local SEO. 
uh, cool. mainly reputation management, uh, just those type of things all together. We have about 200 agents uh, in our uh, that have us working for them. Right. Um, and I wanted to add this as a service to them where they all have their own CRM uh, currently. And, you know, some are brokerages, some are individuals. And what I'd like to do is what I'm building out right now is high level to be a CRM as well as the one, like the listings for the one pager uh, listings. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, of course, this option as well, where it shows who's looking at the listings and how yeah. to call email uh, and whatnot. So that's that's pretty much what uh, my ideal. Uh, Sounds great. As a uh, as a real or so I had I have an agency. I mean, I have a few clients, but I'm not I'm, I'm actually a real estate agent and I am extremely busy. Um, the most important thing for me as a realtor, if I was looking for something, I don't, you know, the CRM is great, but the, uh, you know, lead gen and the follow-up sequences and some sort of weekly email. Um, and, um, what I like about, um, what we have with Realty Candy is that I can set up the searches on my own website so they're always seeing my face and my branding and that's really really important I'm telling you everyone's using the mls to send out uh keep to do property searches so i'm looking for an over 55 community in tucson with a golf course um the mls will be sending these really crappy emails to people when new listings come active that happens with my website and so now um, I can see when those go out, all the data is in one place, and then, um, <clears throat> you know, I can reach out to them right from high level, and I think that's, for me, it's been number one. But, you know, lead generation is everything, so. Right, right. Yeah, okay, cool. You know, that's that's actually really good to know uh, as far as for positioning it. I got quite a bit of them already interested just talking yeah. with them on their monthly reports and stuff, so. Cool, sounds great. Hey, Jeff, I appreciate you sharing that with us. Thank you. Sure thing. Is there, does anybody else have a question for Jeff or for anybody else for that matter? Chuck, thanks for joining us. I see you here. Okay, well, I guess uh, that means the party's over. Nobody has another question, comment, suggestion? I don't for Jeff, um, but I just wanted to make sure that I get every all my ducks in a row, uh, James. So, of course, as an agency owner, I don't have my own IDX brokerage account myself. So on the step number three, the IDX broker, just go there, sign up for it, and I can use it as a demo account. You'll need, I can give you the API key that we just used here, and you can use IDX broker's demo account. The, the, the what? We really recommend to people is when you get your first client, get your get somebody, get one person signed up so you have like a working demo and you'll use like say Becky as your client. You'll have Becky sells Bangora.com and, and you just and then you start showing that to everybody else. If you're not an agent, it's a little tricky. Jeff has an advantage and I know Chuck's an you know an agent also. So you kind of show, hey, this is my website, this is what I'm doing. Um, the IDX services are only available to licensed realtors. And so, you know, even if you're an agency and you represent 5,000 agents, nobody's going to give you access to the IDX, but any of your clients can get it. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Good. So I'll get one of them uh, together. And then, yeah, if you could get me a demo account or whatever to, to just show them uh, so they understand, then that'd be yeah. great. Mina, would you be kind enough to just shoot him that key, that API key over that you shared with us for that demo? And does anybody else have a question? Eric, do you have anything? Uh, so, so well, most everything that is, has the benefit of making the connection uh, with the Real Candy and GHL is basically for uh, kind of inside the back end of the CRM. But it sounds like there there are also some, some visual benefits as well, like uh, Jeff was talking about. That he can represent himself. Uh, it's it's better looking. It's presented easier, easier to see, understand. But so so this system is not just benefiting well what the the, the owner uh, is using behind the scenes, but also. Has
as it reflects. I saw the templates like like what you showed for the IDX broker. I mean, those templates look pretty good. Or is that, you know, for uh, displaying the, the properties and save and such? Yeah. So we we've tried to make stuff that's more attractive than what you can just get off the street, basically. Right. And and so if you get it, just you sign up for a regular IDX account. I just had a lady reach out to me for something. I said, this is what your pages look like. Your map search is what I showed her specifically. This is what our client's map search looks like. And yeah. if there's like completely two different things. Yeah. And um, so, so we've, we've spent a lot of time. And, and when I say we, that means Carlos and Maida and their mm -hmm. cohorts. Um, they've spent a lot of time building out these templates and great designs and stuff like that. Okay. So that it, it works good and it looks good. Yeah. That's, that's what we're trying to accomplish. It's not just looking good for the, the agent like Jeff behind the scenes using it, but it's also on the front side. Of, it's an improved uh, appearance or template. Yeah, sir. Yeah. So um, if I might uh, interject, James. So Please. pretty much every brokerage offers uh, some sort of website to an agent and they pay for it in their monthly dues. Everybody pays monthly or they pay a really big split. Um, the benefit that you have with um, the content that Realty Can gives you, with, let's just use the website. One is they look nice, they're customizable. So you can either customize it yourself beyond what you can do with what the brokerage gives you. The brokerage usually gives you the bare minimum subscription and they don't tell you that. Sometimes you, um, the IDX might even be limited. So with this, you're getting a full IDX connection. So you're getting access to your local database with the MLS, and then you're able to add uh, really cool features. So for example, like I have the plunk on my website, people actually use it. And I'm happy because if they go to my site instead of Zillow, um, mm -hmm. they'll, they're more likely to call me, okay? Yeah. Um, it's just easier to use, um, more configurable, and um again for a real estate agent in today's More precise too totally precise yeah plunk is much better than a zestimate so yeah. and then when he's saying talking about plunk he's talking about a home valuation home value. valuation yeah. yeah um and it's also a good you know lead tool yeah. um so i send emails to prospects asking them if they want a home valuation i don't do ads um sometimes i make some content around it but it's great and it's on my website and guess what they see my name and my face all the time. And that's number as a real estate agent. It's so important. It's, a, it's the name game. Who who are you? Who do we know? And um, you're up against in, in my I live in Tucson. There's maybe seven hundred thousand people around me. There's five thousand agents. So how do I make a difference? I'm telling you by using one of these websites that's fully customizable. I'm about to change it, by the way, um, to one I, I created a template um it makes a big difference for me and i've actually gotten agents that's been you know they're on boomtown and a few others that ask for help so i can't help them i'm too busy <laughs> <laughs> okay and, and then how do you how does your solution compare with what they're doing on boomtown and stuff do you think jeff the only benefit to working in a kv core or boomtown is that those products give you leads so at eXp, you can get KV Core. It's included in the 100 bucks a month I spend, but you don't get leads. If you pay a little bit more, another 100 bucks, you'll start getting slow. You'll start getting leads, but they're not great. Boomtown, you pay 2,000 bucks a month and they start throwing, you know, Zillow leads at you. That, that's just how they <laughs> So that's, I don't know if that's, for some people, it's okay. I think Boomtown's meant for teams. So if you have an office with, you know, 20 agents, maybe that makes sense. But for a solo agent like myself, I like um, doing the uh, uh, the go high level and the uh, IDX broker realty candy stuff because you set it up and then it just works. And then if I want to change something because, you know, maybe I'm focusing more on new construction now because that's what's working in my area, I can develop all this content um, and pull uh, new construction information into my system. So that's awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Silver Sky, you have your hand raised. Let's. Hey, I, how you doing? I, I am also an agency. I actually have a. I deal with a coach 
that actually does real estate coaching. And, and that's kind of what turned me on to you guys because I've been using GHL for a while. So it's kind of a two-part thing I got is, do you have, I can't, a pitch deck um, that we can present to clients or that has, you know, already some pre-built material uh, instead of just having like that demo account that we set up, but something that we can work into our actual uh, offerings and like uh, PowerPoints. We, we have PowerPoint sales pitch decks. Well, we just made a really neat one. Do, do, how many of your clients speak Spanish? Silver Sky? Uh, not many, unfortunately. Oh, okay. uh, it, it might be quite rusty. <laughs> okay. Well, we just made one for our project down in Mexico City. We were out last week. Do we have it? Might it? Do you have something? It seems like you've made some stuff in the past. Do you have any PowerPoint slides or anything like that? Okay. Not in English. <laughs> you want okay. to actually, you know, even if you got me the ones in Spanish, I do have somebody who can translate them. We can send you some Spanish ones. Maybe Alma, would that be something you could help us out with? Is make some PowerPoint slides that we can use in English for people to be able to get this stuff together. And so, I, I okay. know you're probably not Silver Sky. What, what's your name? I'm James. Carter. <laughs> Sorry. Carter. Carter <laughs> yes, of yeah. course. I can work on this. Then don't worry, I can work on these slides and then share them on, on the group. Or, or also, if you want to give us your, your email, I can send it there too. Yeah, yeah, I can talk in chat real quick. Uh, and, and I guess like my second part to that was, um, you know, we we're talking about adding people uh, using their login, but what about through, I know you have an agency dashboard for people like me and Noah. Um, are we able to basically take their API key and add them and do that connection ourselves, or is that a step that we're going to have to have them do, or just give us the API and log in as them? You know, you're going to need to get them to give you the API. Or um, so I, I'll just tell you, Car. One of the things we're working on with IDX brokers for them to simplify this process for us, because what the way it works now is your client. Let's say your client's Becky, and Carter, I apologize. So Carter, your your client Becky signs up for an IDX broker account. IDX broker is going to send her a, a way to log in, but she has to set a secure password uh, in there. It's an SSO uh, login. And okay. once she logs in, we're going to hit you up for Becky's username and password. Once we get that, we can log into the IDX broker thing and send you the API key. And we I, does it. Does he have access to their API key on our agency dashboard, Maida? Can they, does it allow them to log in? Yes, they can log in from the dashboard. Would, would you be willing to show us just what that looks like? This is something that we're putting together, Carter, and there's a basic uh, functionality in it right now. We're gonna be, over the next 60 or 90 days, we're gonna be adding quite a bit more functionality. Maida is gonna show you what that looks like. Awesome, but you can awesome. log in as your client. Um, you you tell us who the client is. Like you'll send us an email and say, "Hey, support at Realty Candy. I just signed up BeckySalesBoston.com. Uh, you know, please don't contact her." Is what a lot of we ask people to tell us if they don't want us to contact her. But we see her sign up. We'll hit you up for her username and password. We'll add her underneath you, and you'll uh, in your agency account that we've made, and then you'll be able to have access to all her stuff all right cool that yeah, so i was about to say it's like sometimes trying to get them to do those steps themselves to add things to go high level or to just integrate can be a pain <laughs> yeah i hear you brother so Maida, do you want to show us what you have right there real quick yeah sure um we have this dashboard for the agencies and in the first time well this is for free this is important and the idea of this is to have a place where you can manage all your client accounts. So it's going to present, I don't know if you can see this multi-step form. Okay. okay. Yes. So it's going to show like um, what you can do on each section. For example, on this page, it's going to show the client list. There's going to be some high level options that can be, uh, they are going to be hidden by default, but you can show them. And we also have, I will show you better. <laughs> For example, we here we have uh, two clients, and here we can see the MLS paperwork status. If they have access to the sold data, no, no. If they are, um, well, this is something else. But if, for example, this contact column is if 
we we as Realty Candy can contact your client directly, or if you would prefer that we don't contact them. An option here to enable something that we have that is called the auto searches for their leads. And here, for example, you can see the number of leads that each uh, client has. And if you click here, you can log in as that uh, as the client. I'm going to show you here in a minute. But now I'm going to click here on the lead connector options and. The idea of this is to show what apps that we have that are linked to high level have already been set up. Uh, these are demo accounts and we don't have them set up, but this is so you can know what apps are missing in case you want to add them. And like that. also adding an option to add a client, but you would need to have their ID and their API key and we are going to receive an email so we know that we shouldn't contact them and they are going to be automatically added here to, to your dashboard as an agency uh, here in the sign up form we are providing some instructions of what you need to do to sign up a new client for now you need to use this link but in case you are an agency and you want to do uh, the payment, you can uh, use this temporal link only to get this new potential client information. So it's going to show something like this. It doesn't include uh, any payment per uh, option. The idea is that you, um, you fill the information or your client and so it can give you like an idea of how much it's going to be for the MLS. And if they fill the form, we have some features that can be added uh, to the high level dashboard. Well, it's for the high level sub account. And the idea of this is to show We have added this, uh, I don't know if you can see this IDX button here at the top. And the idea is to show yeah. uh, the lead activity. Um, and we also have a silo button that it's going to show us some estimates. Mm -hmm. But we are providing this here because, I mean, you need to have like agency access to the high level account. And this is mostly done by agencies, so that's why it's here. But in okay. case, <laughs> but that's mostly it, like an overview of the agency dashboard that we currently have. But, yeah, I'm sure you guys are continuing to build it out as you know, because Go I have Go High Level is constantly releasing new things too, so I'm sure you're trying to keep up with that and <laughs> make it all work together. Yeah, and finally, I'm going to log in uh, to IDX Arons as a client, but you can see here that I logged it in. And this is how it looks right now. Now I can browse uh, in the apps and you don't need to remember the API key of each of your clients. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, thank you. That's that's actually, that's the thing I, I was really worried about is having to remember all the API keys and keep everybody in order on my end to be able to get back in. Well, they've they've actually Carter made those API keys really easy. They're only like thirty digits, and so we, you know, you should be able to remember those for five or ten clients, I would think. I, don't know, I have a hard enough time remembering passwords nowadays with all the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing with you. Okay, good. Oh, thank no, you for showing please. that to us, Mike. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. That answered a whole bunch of my questions. So. Yeah, and so what Maida's building there, we're also building another version of that for iHome Finder, and then, um, and like she said, these are these, that's, these are free tools that we build, and and we basically finance all this with, um, you know, we get some credit from from the IDX vendors. So, good. Anybody thank else? So have another question. Those were those were great questions. I'm sorry. I, that's awesome. I didn't realize um, some of the new stuff, but how do I get that um, button to show up inside the contact? I mean, that's awesome. I'm going to turn that on now. Maida, do you want to send him the link there? 
Yeah, and so it'll add the the IDX button, which basically loads that dashboard, Jeff, and then it'll and it and it filters it just for that client too, so that contact. So you're not seeing Scott's stuff over on Stacy's. Yeah, it's just it's just Scott's stuff. No, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, and then and then the Zillow, if your if your client has their their address in there, you have a Zillow button in there, and I think that's really powerful if you're working with a seller. Yeah. Because you can go pop that Zillow button. It's like, okay, it's $439 a day. You go click it tomorrow, $409 yeah. tomorrow. And you're like, hey, but, you know, we got a situation here. Your house just lost 20 grand, according to Zillow. We may want to explore some options. Right, cool. This is awesome. Yep. Cool. Well, um, that's, that is what we have planned for today we're working fast and furious as the movie says you know on, on the uh get some new features out and i appreciate what carter mentioned it is we're trying to hit a moving target for sure because high levels you know they're adding just gobs of features and we can't even keep up with what they're doing plus we're trying to do our own stuff and so somebody says you know well they'll reach out to us and say hey just built that but high level just released such and such so yeah they released that the day before yesterday no, we haven't built anything in, you know, that makes that work. I mean, we're we're still trying to figure out. We didn't even know they offered that, you know. So does, does iHome Finder the same kind of stat? It's not the same status as IDX Poker and Development Completion, right? iHome Finder doesn't quite have all the things that you have for the um, IDX Broker configuration, right? You're not supposed to say that out loud, Eric. Uh, by the way, but th that is true. Sorry. Yeah, but we're we're gonna. We're working fast and furious on it. Because yes. I'll, I'll tell you why one of the, one, for us, one of the things that's been a, a cause some changes is, and I just had a big knockdown drag out with Chuck Barnes the other day and explained all this stuff to him. But, but one of the key features that we want is the ability for you to click a button and add a new client without filling out that form that Maida showed you, and then the email, and then the thing, and then that, and then their password, and the back, all that stuff, we think that's completely unnecessary. Yeah. Well, we talked to IDX Broker about changing that, and we haven't had any progress on it. We talked to iHome Finder about changing it. Boom, they changed it. And so we think that that's a deal breaker in a lot of cases. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're working hard this month. You're gonna see a bunch of new features come out on our iHome Finder mm -hmm. uh, feature set. And we think that by the 1st of April, our iHome Finder offering for high level will be at par with what we have in most cases for IDX Broker. We do have 75 plus web apps that we built over the years for IDX Broker. Mm -hmm. And I, we're not gonna get all 75 of those built out in, in the next 30 days. But we mm -hmm. think of the core functionality we're gonna have it, and what we think is really valuable is the ability to click a button, spin up a new website, and get a client moving down the street without a bunch of rigmarole. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's that's a good question. Because yeah. I'm say, like, especially if you have a way that we can either have a widget on our site for them to sign up, or um, or that we can send data to you through API or pass through or something like that to get them added, that would be great too. Carlos, can you show us real quick what you've built so far for iHome Finder? Let me just show you guys. You guys are asking a bunch of stuff you're not supposed to be asking about because we don't have all this built out, but let me let me show you a couple things anyway that we're working on. And this is just confidential, just us and whoever sees it on the internet should have access to this, but please don't share it beyond that. Um, just YouTube and you guys, and that's that's pretty much the only people we want to, have access to this. And and like and while Carlos is pulling this up, this is in our agency dashboard inside of the iHome Finder thing. Um and you will need here to complete this form and it will give you uh, the ability to select the MLS and then you you can uh, you will have an iPhone finder account really quickly and we are also working on at the same time you are creating your client, we can set up a website. And that is uh, one of the features we, we are working for, for iPhone Finder. Okay. 
And and one of the things that I want to just touch on is what Carlos was talking about. It'll spin up the account, but the data from the MLS won't be live yet because we still have to get MLS approval for it. But the, the iHome Finder account will be live. Your access to it will be live. And uh, and you can start putting the website together and building out all the stuff while um, while we're getting the MLS approval. And yes. in some, some MLSs, it's going to be fast approval. Yes, all the other, other things we are working on is create templates for high level. We have a, a three templates right now. And let me show you one website for, from a client. And this is a template that we created. And this is a high level website. This is something that you can get right now. This is available right now. You can have community pages. A, a widget testimonials and the I feel that the iPhone Finder product is it's very very well. A, every every page and every component is is intended for lead generation. You save a property, you, you will receive a lead a, in the details page, a request info. I hope you can. A, Take a look at this website and let's see if it's something that you might want for your client. Thank you, Carlos. And one of the, this site is an example of what we're building out is what we call the one click website. They're actually about, we, I tell people they're about 17 clicks right now, because but the goal is to get it down to one click where we use AI to generate the community pages and the content on the home page, and we ask you to load you know, the headshot, the logo, the and we like the hero image, we even have three or four choices for you to choose from. And and what we're trying to do is make it so that um, you can spin these up in like two minutes or something like that. And and then your client's got a site and you actually host it on your own um, high level account. So what we're doing with our clients is we're charging them 199 bucks the setup, which is what we charge for the for the agencies also, and then we charge our clients 99 bucks a year for us to host the website on our high level account, and um, we think it's a killer deal for people because you, you look at what what the market is uh, for these websites. It's like 2,000 bucks for a website, and and our team spent a lot of time designing beautiful websites. In our dev meeting today, one of our developers showed us what he's been working on for days to get the, the about pages and the privacy pages and all this stuff built out. So it looks good. And we're, we're going to, we think we can get you a, you know, a $2,000 website for 200 bucks, basically, is what we're talking about. I got to ask, since, it's, since you host your own Go High Level, um, just for uh, us agencies out there, are you including the email phone calls sms on your side or are you um, are you doing a charge having them pay for it so here's the thing we don't we don't really want to sell high level um per se what we, what we're doing on those sites is we're spinning uh, for our clients when they buy the website for us we spin up a site and then we're, we're eliminating their access to everything except the website so that you know there's even there's like five things or eight things that are built in by default on high level, but they don't even have access to all that stuff. The only thing they can do is blog to the website, and I don't even think we give them access to funnels. I mean, they, that's they, they, there's no leads. They can't see any contacts. They can't see. We don't want to sell high level per se. We just have a lot of clients. We, we've built a solution previously. We call them pure IDX websites that ran on what technology is called Jamstack. But we're migrating oh, wow. all that away to high level, and um, we think it's a better solution for our users. And when we build it for the people that come to us, then we can share that same tech with you guys. But we don't want to get into the high level space for a number of reasons. One, we don't know anything about high level. Two, um, we don't know how to use CRMs, and that you know you guys know it's like a whole nother support issue. And and that actually, I think the most important reason is. We feel that it's a conflict of interest for us to compete with our clients, and so not understandable. Yeah, so we think that if we um, build all this stuff to support you guys doing it, our business is the IDX piece. 
we we don't we don't, we're not trying to get into anybody else's grill on any of that other stuff. All right, cool. Yeah, I was just just kind of curious because I, I had that same thought in my head about getting them access to everything because it is so overwhelming when they first get in. So that's why I was kind of curious how you were doing. Yeah, I would if now if I were selling high level, I'd give them access to more than what we're giving them to, giving them access to. But I, I definitely wouldn't unlock the whole enchilada for them because it's it's over. It, I mean, I I think I know a little bit about tech, and I can't hardly figure my way around high level. I uh, I've, I've been in there for over two years, and then I'm, I'm with you with all the changes and everything. It's hard to keep up, and then there's so many different things that I understand. But then when a client first logs in, they're like, "What is all this?" And then you're spending all that time. <laughs> So we have about three more minutes here. Does anybody else have another question? I we I see Mark in here. Uh, Mark, do you have anything, Chuck? Do you have anything that we can discuss here? Chuck's just going to close the deal real fast. He'll give everybody three percent of whatever two percent he said of whatever he makes off of that. Each of us will get two percent, so that'll be nice. Hey, guess who's calling me right now? This is Homes.com <laughs> trying to sell me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, James. Hey, hey, James. This is Mark. Thanks for the Mark. information. We yeah, we jumped on here a little bit late. We didn't uh, realize you guys were doing this till the end. Here, great, great stuff, and uh, we're excited about all the things you guys are doing. And uh, we got some uh, brokers that we're talking to, and we were we were really looking to, for a demo, kind of like a demo site for the one click. So I think the the site that Carlos set over, I think that'll work well for that. So that's awesome. So appreciate it. Hey, thank you, Mark. We've got, there's a few other, Carlos could probably share two or three of the other ones. One of them's in English, the Cancun real estate search.com. And then we did another one, century 21, c21.mexico real estate search.com or something like that. We were just down in Mexico and it's, and, and we did a bunch of stuff down there. So we have, we built out a whole bunch of Spanish stuff while we were down there. And we partnered with iHome Finder down in Mexico. So that's how we're, that's how we got in on that party. I was just going to say um, to the agency guys, I know you, you guys probably know this already, but the website doesn't really mean anything unless you have IDX built into it. So all you agency guys really need to understand and learn the you know, MLSs and all that. You don't have to know it back and forth, but without you know the customer's ability to get in there and search product, properties, it doesn't mean anything. It's not. Why, why do you say that, Chuck? I mean, what? Yeah. I mean, if you have a website, Chuck sells. Kansas.com and it has a picture of you. Isn't that good enough? Yeah, it's just, <laughs> I mean, it's it's pretty and it'll market you and they'll get on and then they'll get off and go to Zillow and boom, you know, you've lost them. So that's, you know, that's the agent side of it. But you guys, you just understand the basics, you know, and what IDX means and, you know, and what it means to the FDMS because you've got to get MLS approval like you talked about. But James, their product, I'm telling you, it's, perfect for what y'all need because he, I mean, he can spin it up in a heartbeat. And of course, like I said, the idea may take a week or two or two weeks, maybe longer, who knows, you know, mine takes some time. I, I use two MLSs where I am and I'm in Pensacola. I'm on the border of Alabama, Florida. So I have to use Alabama and a Florida MLS, but I'm just telling you guys, it's do you just, when your agents come on, they go, you know, what's your marketing edge if you don't have someplace you can send a client to go search properties without letting them go to Zillow or wherever, you know, because it's it hurts to lose them. <laughs> I would yeah. even venture to say that some agents don't even know what IDX is. Good, but probably very they good. know the website does searches. Like, so IDX is a terminology we all use because we know this stuff. But don't use the word IDX with uh, and to go a, a, step, a step further. I mean, what IDX really means is that I can put any agent's properties on my website. So I've got the whole MLS on my website, not just my eight listings or 10 listings, you know. So that's the key is that everything's out there and you search, you get everything back. And it's got my smiling face, God bid, still showing them the properties, you know, every time they click into it. So. The UHC guys, it's a big deal. It really is. And I know it's not, it's just a piece of the puzzle for your overall business, but it is for that agent for success and for him to make him or her to make money and pay your bill. It's a big part of it, you know, and I'm telling you, James's product is right up the alley. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I could back you up on that. I did have a client that did not want to go with the integration. And yeah, that's the biggest thing. We, we looked at the analytics. People are coming to the site, but then they're, they're leaving and going somewhere else. Well, and I, I'll tell you what we, we found, and I, this is a, sounds like a total sales pitch, but I was a realtor before we do this. I, this is my card I keep here so everybody can see back when I had hair and stuff. But um, when I was, I was reading some stuff that not published, and they said that the reasons people go to real estate websites, it's like, number one, to find out information about the realtor. Number two, to search for properties. And number three was social proof slash what you and I consider testimonials, re reviews, and things of that nature. But if you think about it, when you go to chuckbarnes.com, you want to see a picture of Chuck. You want to see that he lives in Pensacola, that he knows what he's talking. Okay, that's done. Okay, now let's start finding some property. Let's go. And that one, it's like, oh, wait, Chuck has our, oh, I actually don't have any properties on my website. Okay, so now we're, they're off to Zillow. They're gone. And they're never coming back to Chuck's website. So, and, and I'll just tell you another thing about the agency thing, and I, if I can off of that, is that what we found is that when you have IDX, you're, the, the real estate agents are stickier to you because they, they, got it, they, they know that you understand their needs and they're going to stick with you because they're getting leads, their properties, a whole inch, they have it all in one place. And it lowers the churn on the agents a lot. So we find we have people that have come work with us where they're working with hundreds of real estate agents and they're just churning them, man, every month. So every year or two, they got a whole new group of agents. And when they start putting IDX on there, their churn just dives because nobody's, I'm mean, not nobody leaves, but they're hardly anybody will leave them because now they've got IDX, the website, the email, the marketing, the whole, who's going to leave that? Yeah, and if you can provide a turnkey where the agents don't have to do anything, they just maybe fill out some custom values. So, you know, their name and all that stuff, it's a huge win. Because if, if if we have to do technical work, and I'm a tech guy, I don't want to do any more technical work. I just want to sell stuff. It's a huge win, and it's a huge, um, uh, a huge benefit to offer something that just you buy from us, we set it up, it works. Okay, so I think next week, based on this, we want to show you guys what we're working on these one-click websites. So next week, we're going to do another webinar at 1 o'clock, same time, same channel. We'll get a new link out. And I want to show you what we, a couple things that we worked on with iHome Finder, and I want to show you um, these one-click websites so you can see what they look like, how, how the setup of them is. And we'll build two or three on the thing so you can just see what the whole process looks like, what your client needs to bring to the dance. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Jeff, I appreciate you especially hopping in here and Noah for getting us going on this. Chuck, thank you. Chuck's been one of our oldest clients. I don't know how long we've worked with Chuck. What is it, like eight or 10 years or something crazy, I'll bet. And uh, we appreciate it. And Mark and Carter, thank you for joining us also today. Awesome, thank you. Hey, thank we'll you for having us. Be good. Thank you, this is awesome.